Daniel. Hi. And today we're going to be talking about what you guys do here at Tea and Milk. Uh, the idea behind tea and milk is basically using fresh ingredients, real ingredients. Nothing important in the tea itself should be powder based. That's the reason why a lot of our uh, teas are itself is very different. We brew tea fresh on the spot and basically all the ingredients that we put in there are don't made on a daily basis. Nothing is left overnight honestly and that's why everything's really fresh and it's hate for freshness. The way we started this tea and milk is through the LIC flea market. We sat down and we're like, oh, why don't we do something and make some sort of like natural based OT, a natural based tea shop or something like that. We try to figure out who does that. In New York, at that time, maybe four and a half years ago, uh, there was no one that was doing it. And we basically said, let's try it out. We tried to go into the store, this for a Street Fair, but because we kind of entered in late. We didn't really get in, but then LIC Flea just started, so that's when we actually got in. And the owner was basically tasting our tea. I was fresh brewing for them at, at their uh, location. The owner just basically immediately said, I want you in. I think a big com uh, component of how we became or how we are now is thanks to the LIC Flea. Let's get into these three drinks over here. Okay. First of all, I think what's interesting is that this is taro, but it's not purple. It's not purple. Because every time you go to bubble tea places and you get taro, it's usually super purple. Super purple, lavender color. This is, it looks like regular like black a regular tea. Black tea yeah. So what's the story behind taro? Uh, so the story behind taro is that uh, we didn't want to use the purple powder itself. We wanted to use a real root because we were all based off of the real ingredients. Should I show you the real root? Yeah, sure. All right. There we go. This is the real taro root itself. Uh, this is basically a partly shaved taro root, and uh, these are the pieces that we cut. Mm -hmm. And there are a little, a little bit of purple lavender kind of color like yeah. strands in there. But it's not enough to make it so that it's going to be a foamy purple drink. So that's the reason why we're like, oh, why don't we try using making taro the real way, real taro. Through a lot of experimenting, honestly, we drank a lot of taro to make this one taro drink. We made this instead of the purple butter. We just didn't want to uh, ever use that, incorporate that into our, in our philosophy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So it's completely natural. Yep, completely uh, natural and fresh. I don't normally like taro, so I don't think I can compare this with other taro. But maybe we can get an expert from the crowd. We should, we should get an expert from the crowd and try this out. <laughs> this is Nick, he's going to be our taro Hi. expert. <laughs> so you drink a lot of taro yes. every time you go for bubble tea. I drink the purple fake taro. <laughs> Very rarely do I get the real thing. So uh, let's give this a try. Okay, you can definitely still taste the actual taro in there. It's pretty good. It's not overly sweet, which is actually a lot of problems in a lot of fake taro places. Yeah. So do you put sugar in here? We do. We use uh, we actually make uh, homemade simple syrup and just all small batches. We don't do like a large batch. Uh, I see. Is there anything else besides the taro and the simple syrup? Um, there are other ingredients in there, but they're all natural. But uh, some, it's like a secret. Oh, <laughs> secret ingredient. Secret ingredient. That's what makes it good. Just powder. <laughs> That's not powder, no. <laughs> I'm not good enough at tasting to tell what the secret ingredient is. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. I guess you're just gonna have to come here and find out on your own. <laughs> I'm gonna take this one. Ah, oh, you ran right away. I guess it's that good. So this is my absolute favorite drink here. It's the roasted oolong with signature cream. And I think what makes it really, really awesome is the cream. So yep. is there anything you can tell us? We've seen people make that cream stay on top as well. From what we know is that if people use powder and then they mix it with like some sort of dairy product, 
what we do is that we use all dairy products. When we first started, when we made this cream, it was basically because a lot of people wanted milk and they wanted like a thicker milk. We didn't want to use heavy cream or at all, so we are like, oh, why don't we try doing some kind of experiment with like dairy-based products and stuff like that. From then on, we just basically threw, we threw in so many different ingredients when we first tried it. Uh, it was disgusting. <laughs> uh, and then later on, we perfected it throughout the years that we were in the flea market. That's really cool. Yeah, this is my absolute favorite thing about skin. Very different, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think it's very different from any other types of milk. Uh, all the milk, soy milk, kind of milk. All these milks are a little lighter. Um, this one here is a little uh, thicker, a little uh, creamier, where it makes your milk seem more creamy. It's really good. You guys should come drink it. Drink. Yes, this is uh, matcha. our matcha tea latte. Matcha is a, it is powder based. Matcha right. is powder based. Well, yeah. But it's because it's grinded up tea, green tea leaves. Mm -hmm. So you actually drink the tea leaf itself. It's basically, we make this with three different types of milk. We do it with soy, almond, and whole milk. This is the only product in the tea that we use whole milk for. It actually brings out the flavor a little more. Uh, so we recommend, we actually recommend soy first because soy actually itself is uh, lighter and it just tastes more of the matcha. Okay. So you guys have a lot of very original flavors. How do you come up with like new flavors and stuff? What's your inspiration? A lot of research and development. We go and look at different cultures, their teas, their coffee, and then we kind of try to bring it back. And then there's also times where we accidentally pour something into the tea and like, oh, this tastes really good, let's, let's do that. Most of the time it's because of culture, the tradition itself. We have a grandma masala chai, so we call it grandma chai. It's actually a recipe that our uh, friend was native of India, his grandma's recipe for chai, masala chai. We took that recipe, we altered it a little bit because it used to be really, really spicy. And we actually made it so that it's not like any other chai. It has a stronger taste to it versus where it's like sweeter or something like that. It's stronger and spicier. Interesting. So you guys seem to have a lot of achievements. We actually uh, won best service in New York City, best tea selection, and best bubble tea in New York City in 2015 through the Taste of Asia event. We also was recently recognized by Time Out New York as one of the top 10 places to have bubble tea. We're also in Business Insider. They actually came over here and made a video about us, actually. Honestly, uh, I couldn't, we couldn't be happier with all these kind of recognition. It just goes to show that, you know, hard work pays off in a way. I mean, you guys deserve it. I love your tea. <laughs> yeah. How would you like tea and milk to grow like, in the future? Because this is your only shop right now, right? This is our only we want to be able to grow, but we also want to keep quality the way it is. So what we're trying to do right now is uh, all of the store within the same owners. So basically we can all you know do quality control. That's probably our next step. Oh. Good luck with that. Thank you. <laughs> I live in Manhattan and I come all the way to Astoria for tea and milk because it's just that good and I love it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for coming and you guys should definitely come to Tea and Milk. If you guys live in Queens, I think you guys deliver. We do. We are, we are on Grubhub. We're also on Postmates. So we do delivery and uh, Postmates deliver out to Manhattan as well. Oh, it does? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> that makes me happy. Yeah, because I really love your tea and I'm really glad you invited me today. Oh, thank you. The pleasure's all mine. <laughs> Alright, that's it for now. Thanks Bye. for watching.